Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Lockdown with Sid. We are back after a break, and uh, we are now in this episode. We are covering the incident that you can see on your screen. Is the Indigo incident that happened? Uh, I saw it in my Facebook feed this morning, and I thought uh, we should cover it, and we should we should look at you know what all happened. So you can see on the screen the gentleman is trying to uh, board the bus post his flight, but he's being stopped by the officials. The officials not letting him enter. Uh, this is uh, slightly disturbing to watch. If you if you watch clearly now, it's it's become a little bit of a brawl where uh, the gentleman is being uh, controlled from the back and he's being he's been almost dragged where he doesn't want to be. Uh, we look at a couple of positions later on in the video of how you can avoid this if someone does this to you. Uh, again, you see in the video now things are getting a little bit more physical. The gentleman tried to uh, well, he tried to attack. The airlines officer and now the airlines uh, officers are controlling him. You can see the person on top is trying to choke the gentleman at the bottom, uh, and now the gentleman at the bottom is trying to throw some strikes. Uh, this is not the most effective way of fighting off your back. This is not the right way of doing it. Uh, and we will now shortly we'll move, we'll move on. We'll show you a couple of options that you can do this from the scenario. So here we are, guys. We are at Prostic Fight Club. I've got. The national Muay Thai champion with me, Praveen. Uh, we are going to go through some of the situations that we saw in the Indigo video here uh, with you. Now, we are not here to, to judge whether it was right or wrong. Uh, we are just here to provide you a couple of options uh, from a technique point of view. What, you, what the gentleman who was being manhandled by the airlines, what he could have done. Okay, so we are not saying it was right or wrong, but in case you find yourself in that scenario, what could you have done if you were there? So the first, the first uh, position that the gentleman found himself in was where he was trying to board the bus, but the airlines person came from the back and he controlled him. Yeah, exactly. He got him in this position. Now this, just by itself, is a bad position to be in. What becomes even worse is if he's able to bring his hands further up and now he starts to pull me backwards. Now this is really bad. Okay, so I've got to stop it just when he has his grip. This is straight away I've got to notice if there's a problem. As soon as he makes a grip here, I've got to transfer my weight into my heels and I've got to get low. Okay, this all of a sudden my weight is forward. It's not in the back. Okay, keeping everything pinched. I'm here. From here, I'm just going to use my hand, grab the foot which is in the front, make a good solid grip, pull, and you see you. The guy falling down. If I want to, I can always readjust and use my hips and pressure down on his knee and break his knee if I need. If not, I can just let go and I can go. Okay, so let's, let's see that again. So, comes from the back straight away, weight forward. Okay, good solid base. Hand grabs the leg just forward, pull, and the person's down. Okay, there's some things you can do from Submissions and attacks, you know, you can do heel hooks and stuff, but again, we should talk about defense, not offense. So, you're able to uh, get your opponent, or in that case, the airlines person down, and then you can work towards the second situation. So, okay. the second situation was slightly different. It was on the ground, and we had a person who was uh, younger on top, and the position that we found ourselves was. So, this gentleman was at the bottom and the airlines person was on top with both hands trying to choke. So, what we saw was the person at the bottom who was trying to throw punches, being flat on the back, which is not effective at all. Okay. Instead, what he could have done, he had a few options. The first option was just use his wrist behind the elbow here and make a grip. Now watch, just with this, I'm able to maneuver my wrist behind his elbow, just make one solid bump, turn my hips and push. Okay, now I'm just going to stand up and Praveen is going to try and face back at me. Face back. He can't. And I'm up. With just one small motion. Just try that again. So I'm at the bottom. He's choking me. I'm going to use one grip. Second grip. I'm going to use my hips, bump him over and jerk his hand away. Yeah. Making a good solid grip on his tricep. Now I'm going to use my feet to 
sit up on my elbow. From the elbow, I go on my hand. Prabhu is trying to come back. He can't come back. Because I was a good solid player. And I'm out of there. So two small basic moves that you can do to get out of position number two. Now, there is another option, a more aggressive option, which is when uh, the person on top, the airlines person, has a knee on your stomach and he's also choking with both arms. So again, if you go back to the video, what the person uh, at the bottom was doing is trying to hit. Instead, what he should have been doing is he sh should look at this far side arm, which, you know, it's pretty easy to, con to control. I'm going to use my hands, just wrap around the inside of the elbow here, just good solid trip. I'm going to bring my knee between my body and this person's body here, the airlines person. Okay, so just make one grip, bring the knee in. Now, on my other hand, I grab his wrist, I shoot my free leg over the head here, and just from here, I'm going to start extending my hips upwards, pulling this wrist inwards, just here. And this, what it does is try to extend the elbow. So, as I keep extending, my partner has no option but to tap, which means his arm is going to break. So he taps. If he doesn't tap, his arm is going to break straight away. So let's watch that one more time. Again, he's choking me. Make a grip here. Make a grip here. Bring the knee inside between my body and my opponent's body. Bring the foot over. Pinch, kicking the heel downwards. Extend your hips. And you can break his arm straight away. Hope that was useful, guys. Again, we're not saying that you know, every time you should be picking a fight on the street, we don't advise that. But in case you get into a scenario where you're attacked, where you have to defend yourself, you should know how to defend yourself. So, um, again guys, a request to everyone, please don't pick fights on the street uh, or at the airport in this instant. Peace is the way forward. But in case someone starts a fight against you, uh, be ready to defend yourself, have that knowledge of how you can defend yourself. Uh, we are here at Boston Fight Club, we train every day, so if you want to come down, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for being Thanks guys. Bos. And that's a wrap guys. That's the end of another episode of Lockdown with Sid. Hope you enjoyed the content this week. Hope you enjoyed the breakdown of the Indigo episode. Hopefully you'll get something out of it and next time if you find yourself in a scenario which is similar, you will have a solution to this problem and uh, and yeah guys if, if you have any other you know positions that you need help with uh, please do write to us uh, if you liked our video please please thumbs up this video please subscribe to our channel as we'll continue to bring more content on our channel so that's it guys hope you enjoyed it follow us on uh, instagram at cfc sid if you have any queries email on info at crosschain.in and that's it guys so